We lead things off. This guy is on the move. Literally, he's in his truck right now. Uh, the head coach at Norda Vista, one of our all-time favorites. In fact, this guy, he might have done the Inland Sports Show more than any other football coach that we've had. It's Ken Batdorf from oh, Norda on. Vista. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I don't think I've done it there, but no, it's just because I'm old. <laughs> and it seems like I've been around forever. That might be true, but I think you've done the show quite a bit. And, and Coach, for good reason. You guys are back in the playoffs. It's been another great year for Norda Vista. I've asked you this question before, and every single time it feels like it's, it's more and more important or more and more magnified. But the fact that, you know, the, the, the Braves started off a little bit slow, but here you are in the semifinals in the playoffs. One win away from getting to that championship game. How rewarding has this season been for you? Um, really rewarding. I mean, obviously, our kids are overachieving, and that's what you love as a coach. Um, really proud of a bunch of our kids. You know, our sophomore line is doing amazing. We got uh, Ryan Rodriguez, Kevin Raya. Um, those two kids are the anchors. We have Gio Velasco and uh, Ryan Hurtado. Um, four sophomores starting, and when you start at sophomore, you're thinking, you know, we're kind of in trouble, especially up front. When you start four, you know, you're kind of in trouble, but really proud of the kids. You know, Coach, obviously, if you're a local football fan, you know Norda Vista loves to run the football. So having that, that offensive line full of sophomores, having them, I don't know, mature or grow up the season or whatever you want to call it, how important was it just for the success of the running game? Because you got a couple great running backs. We do. You know, Demarion Richardson is amazing. Pride Temple is just a freak. I, I, amazingly fantastic. Um, but if you don't have a line, it doesn't matter how good you are. And, and the kids have gelled together. They've done great. Um, we had a tight end who was going to be in the mix. Um, Anthony, uh, unfortunately, blew his knee out. He had uh, surgery. He's at home. And, Anthony, we're thinking about you. Um, we miss you. But, uh, yeah, the future is really bright for Norda Vista. Um, we don't have that many seniors. But uh, we just got to keep plugging away, and you never know. All right, Coach, how many extra gray hairs did you get this past Friday night against Gar Garden Grove in the quarterfinals? You guys won in overtime. That's the good news. But, it, I don't know, it seemed like a pretty stressful game. Um, yeah, you can say that. We, uh, we had them a fourth and 32 <laughs> with less than – with less than a minute, it was like 40 seconds left. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to put the headphones away. The game is over. And they did one of the best hook and ladders I've ever seen. Um, a guy doing a crossing route, hook and ladder to another guy coming underneath on a crossing route, and they got 35 yards. And, you know, that's that's shame on us. It should never happen. But kudos to Garden Grove for pulling it off. But at the end of the game, they score a touchdown. All they have to do is – kick the extra point and the Norda Vista field which everybody makes fun of came back to save us because I told our kicker you can't keep from the middle of the field because it's so muddy so what they did is we always move it over about five yards and you're allowed to most coaches don't even pay attention to that rule well Garden Grove didn't know the rule we took a timeout put a ton of pressure on him in the mud he kind of hooked it so that we went to overtime um but yes, a lot of gray hairs. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I saw that score come in, and, and I had a chance to you know talk to you on the phone on, on Saturday, I was like, wow, what what a what a wild game out there uh, in the quarterfinals. But now you go to the semifinals. Uh, you're going on the road to Laguna Beach. Um, wh what do you know about Laguna Beach? Laguna Beach is a lot better than people think they are. Because, and I'll be honest, I was one of those guys. You think Laguna Beach, soft. Not very, you know, tough kids. Yeah. Um, they got some really good ball players. They have a tight end who's a uh, multi offered kid. He's only a junior. He's six foot four, 230. He plays D end, uh, tight end, but they don't run a tight end, so they put him in slot. You try to cover him with a linebacker, he outruns him. Try to cover him with a DB, he throws him around. He's amazing. Uh, their quarterback is the Santa Margarita you know, throwback, and uh, he's only a sophomore. The family thought he should have started as a sophomore there. 
you know, obviously they got some pushback, but he's fantastic. So you got some division one talent on the team. Um, but it's also a huge, you know, we talked about our home field advantage. They have a huge one. Uh, their field's really slippery. Um, you know, I went and checked it out this weekend. Their stands are tiny. I was hoping to see if would move the game, but that ain't going to happen. Well, Coach, there is a scenario. Let's just assume for our conversation right now that you guys win in the semifinals, but there is a, a scenario where you guys could host a championship game at Norta Vista uh, the following Friday, if you take care of business, obviously, this week. Um, but that would be, yeah. you know, back on your, say what you will about the home field at Norta Vista, but you guys could host a game. You know what? If we get to play there, it'd be a true blessing. And God would have said, Coach, we're going to bless you this year. And really, he already has. He's blessed me in so many ways. Um, so I'm lucky. And, and everybody complains about different things, but – in the big picture, I've really been blessed. And, uh, you know, we get to play there. It's a huge home field advantage. You got a little bit of mud, a little bit of wetness, some slippery grass, um, a dirt track. Hey, I love it. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, again, we just got to take care of business first. Uh, Laguna is a very, very good team. Extremely well coached. Um, so, you know, we got our hands full. Coach, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Uh, my, my high school, which was West Valley, not West Valley and Hemet, but West Valley, way up north near Oregon, we called our football field the pasture because it was literally a cow pasture. It was all beat up. It was like, it looked like muddy hoof marks in the mud. Like it was just nasty by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, we called it the pasture, but we loved it. Other teams hated it, but we loved it. So there is a really interesting scenario with this game of Laguna Beach. Um, one of their assistants was the head coach at Cypress High School when I was the freshman coach there, and I worked with them. It was 35 up out Laguna, and uh, he called me out of the blue when I won my 200th game, and it's really ironic now that we're playing them. Um, haven't seen him in over 30 years, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> You'll see him on Friday night. <laughs> um, yes, we will. Big semifinal game. Coach Batdorf, listen, I really appreciate the time. Best of luck on Friday against Laguna Beach, and hopefully uh, we'll see you guys playing again on Friday the following, maybe in Riverside. That'd be awesome. It would be tremendous, and I just, just hope our kids come out. Um, I know we have a bunch of kids that are sick. We need to get healthy. We need to come out and play well, and, you know, if we do that, I'm happy. If our kids play hard, play Norda Vista football, that's all I could ask. Coach, you're the best. Listen, I really appreciate it. I know you're in your truck. You're on the move, go, going home, going to <laughs> practice, getting dinner, whatever you're doing. I, I really appreciate it. Good luck on Friday. You bet, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, that's head coach Ken Batdorf here on the Inland Sports Show. And coach, you do not have to stay on Zoom. You can log off. You can go do what you got to do as the show rolls on here, but I do really appreciate it. Inland Sports.